So welcome everybody, my name's Chris, uh, I'm the training manager here at the NAV people uh, and I'm going to be giving you guys um, a bit of a, an overview of uh, sales and CRM uh, inside of uh, Dynamics NAV. So um, I suppose the best place to start um, for this um, is to talk about uh, the CRM side of things first and how it leads on to sales. Um, CRM gets generally used for as um, an overview or an, um, a phrase for use of quite a lot of things um, and it depends on really on sort of what your company refers to as CRM just in terms of what CRM actually can do for you. Now CRM uh, in this instance what I'm going to be concentrating more is more on the uh, marketing side of things. So we're going to be talking a bit about uh, contacts, uh, marketing campaigns, um, sales opportunities, that side of things. But CRM can also include um, things like uh, handling uh, support incidents, complaints, um, that side of things. So um, it's, it's a very broad subject. So um, we're going to be speaking, st sticking to the, uh, the marketing side of things and how it leads on to sales as opposed to a uh, customer relationship uh, side of things. Uh, we will be doing some uh, other bits and pieces concerning uh, instance, I believe, later on uh, in some of our other knowledge hours. Um, if not, it's definitely going to be one that will be put up on the cards um, relatively soon. Okay. So, um, another thing to mention as well is that um, Dynamics Nav CRM um, is very much a uh, an undersung uh, hero basically because a lot of people or CRM is, is NAV's not renowned for its CRM basically um, it was a lot of uh, the functionality was there but it was the lack of uh, mobile technology and the technology to be able to access that information uh, on the road um, but since um, in the last couple of versions of NAV have come out we've got uh, you know, we've now got the phone client, we've got the web client, we've got the tablet client, uh, and lots of um, other uh, third-party applications which can access nav data uh, for people on the go. So therefore, your CRM side of things can be with the salespeople actually out on the road, as opposed to um, um, just being able to access it um, at the office, um, which is where it sort of fell behind the other sort of dedicated CRM products because that was what they're designed to do. Um, so now that since the NAV has gone sort of down that mobile application route, the, the NAV CRM actually really comes into its, into its own. And um, we use it internally here. Um, we don't have um, another um, application that handles our CRM. We solely use the NAV uh, CRM and it's working for us perfectly fine. Um, so that's the kind of side of things we're going to be uh, sort of going through today. So, um, quickly go on to our PowerPoint. So, um, basically, the entire point of this knowledge hour um, is to give you guys a better understanding of what NAV CRM can do, um, and um, for your sales, basically. Um, but also, we'll talk a bit about uh, the relationship and stuff like that um, throughout. If you guys have got any questions, um, there is uh, a window for you guys to type in those questions. Um, so feel free to. Um, I will. Um, if you've got any questions, um, I will go through them all at the end. Um, so there we go. Right then. Okay. So how are we going to do that? So first of all, um, I'm going to quickly talk to you about uh, contacts inside of Nav um, and the different types of contacts and how we manage those. Um, I'm going to talk a bit about profile questionnaires. Um, this is how to store information that you're finding out about your contacts. Not just necessary customers, but uh, future customers as well. Uh, we're going to talk about marketing campaigns uh, in terms of, you know, I want to do a particular marketing, ca uh, marketing campaign around uh, Father's Day, because Father's Day in the UK is coming up. Um, so uh, we might do something related around that. Um, we're going to talk a bit about segments. Um, which if you don't know what segments are, that is basically a way of creating a list of contacts that are based on certain criteria. So they may be give me a list of all the contacts that have ordered this certain product of me already, um, or it can actually be based on um, some answers that they've answered in the profile questionnaires. 
Um, so, you know, the information that you found out about uh, your prospect by talking to them. Uh, and then we'll move on to uh, opportunities uh, and how we um, and how now can handle the sales opportunities in um, in terms of being able to go like at what stage am I at with this person that you know are we doing you know are we it's just initial chats we're having or we have we done a demo and, and sort of that and the and the and the sort of the sales cycles that um, uh, you can go through. Um, you know, to create the, um, to go through that process and at what stage of, you know, have we quoted for them and how much was that quote and now that they've accepted it, then we'll move on to creating sales orders and stuff like that and therefore sales invoices and away you go. Um, so that's basically it. Right then. So if I skip away and I'm going to skip away into Nav. Okay, so first of all, um, let's talk about contacts. Uh, so, contacts. Inside of NAV, there are two types of contacts you can basically get. All right, you can get companies and you can get people. Okay, now the easiest way to spot them in this uh, in the latest version is that uh, anything that's in bold is a company, and anybody not, so you can see here underneath, uh, are the people. How they split is that, here's a company, and then therefore all of these people contacts underneath it are working for this company. Okay, so you can very quickly see who's working for who. Well, that gives you the ability um, is to very, instead of creating a new contact if somebody moves the company, is that you just move them inside of NAV, so you just change what company they're associated with, so it moves that entire record, so you don't actually lose the history um, that you have with them. All right. Uh, so what I'm going to do very quickly is I'm going to create my uh, a new company contact. So I'm going to select new from the top there. There we go, new company. So. Um, I'm just going to give it a new uh, da, 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 company, so let's get it to create a number for me. There we go. I've typed company, uh, and the name means I'm just going to be the company name. Um, I'm just going to call it that for the moment. Um, and obviously, at this stage, I can then fill in any um, details inside of here. So let's um, put it as Newbury, because that's the closest town to us. Uh, postcode RG29JZ. Uh, give it a phone number, uh, 0208-328-9818. You guys can give us a call on that number if you want to. That's fine. Add a salesperson code. So the uh, salesperson code um, generally is the salesperson that's associated with it. Uh, Internally, we use it to um, assign our account managers to um, certain records and stuff like that. Okay, so in here, I'm just going to select one. So let's go with, uh, oh, we'll go with John Roberts. So there we go. That is it. Nice and simple. Uh, and, I'm gonna, and that's basically the contact. Now, all the company contact. There's a few other bits and pieces you can add in. So for example, I've got the phone number here. Uh, you can add in uh, the home page. Uh, for example, www.people.co.uk, um, and you can enter in uh, a generic email address for the company. So, uh, for example, it might be more info uh, at the NAV people, and that will give us then the, the generic um, uh, email address uh, for the company. Now, what that allows me to do then is that if I press OK here, 